heart.
I have an important announcement. On this side are rows 1 through 10. On this side are rows 11 through 20 for the, for the graduates, or soon to be graduates. It's only the 201st time we've done this, it's okay. Good afternoon. Good things come to those who await. Good afternoon to our soon-to-be graduates, to their families and friends, to our faculty and staff, and to our invited guests. I'm Valerie Weil, Interim President of the University of the Sciences. Welcome to the 201st Co Commencement Convocation. It's a privilege and honor to preside over the festivities today. Let's start with a round of applause for the Crosstown Musical Services. And please join me in thanking our mace bearer, Dr. Mahalingam. At the conclusion of the national anthem, we ask that you remain standing for a moment of personal reflection.
Over the past two years, many of us in the youth sciences community have lost friends, colleagues, and family members, whether to COVID-19 or to other causes. And just to add, just yesterday, our hearts go out to the victims in Texas in that tragedy. Let us pause for a moment of silence and of remembrance. Thank you. Please be seated. At this time, I'd like to acknowledge Ms. Livia Mario of the Doctor of Occupational Therapy Program, Class of 2024, and President of the Student Government Association, who had the honor of carrying the Youth Sciences banner today. Thank you, Livia. <laughs> On the stage with me is our honoree, Dr. Ayla Stanford, members of the Board of Trustees, Deans, Program Chairs, and colleagues. They are assembled to formally acknowledge those who are receiving degrees today. I would also like to take a moment to acknowledge those parents, families, and friends of our graduates who are with us today. Please stand for a moment. Thank you for the sacrifices you have made for your students to complete their education here. Your support has been essential. As you know, our graduates will continue to need your guidance and support as they enter the next phase of their lives, and I know they can count on you as they have in the past. For you, today's graduates, we congratulate you for your scholastic success. You have made it through very rigorous youth sciences academic programs, despite many non-academic challenges around you. Your hard work and resilience that brought you to this day will ensure a bright future ahead. But there is much more to your success than just your academic accomplishments. Your service to others is inspiring. You have supported free clinics for those unable to afford care. You have raised funds to support research. You have served the homeless in food kitchens, among a variety of other community-centered efforts. You have helped provide COVID-19 vaccinations and education to our community. You never backed down from the call to service, even when it wasn't convenient, even when you had so much on your plates, and when, especially early in the pandemic, it was a little scary. I thank you on behalf of the lives you, whose lives you have touched for all of your hard work and commitment. They will not forget what you have done. You've also demonstrated leadership by working to help find effective solutions to the many challenges you have faced. You have, most importantly, exhibited a caring for humankind that will serve you well in your careers and personal lives. Lifelong learning, character, and service above self, these are the results of a youth sciences education, the hallmarks of the best of higher education today. With the conferring of degrees, you will have earned credentials that document your fulfillment of every requirement of this university, the state and accrediting bodies. Your degrees will also serve as evidence of your abilities beyond the academic, the capability to grow and evolve in an ever-changing world. I am pleased and honored to recognize your achievement by the conferring of degrees. We will begin this process with the conferral of today's honorary degree. Congratulations. I now ask Chair of the Board of Trustees, Mr. Jim Rivard, to come to the podium to present our nominee, Dr. Ayla Stanford. Thank you, Madam President. Dr. Ayla Stanford has been a practicing physician for over 24 years. She is board certified by the American Board of Surgery in both pediatric and adult general surgery and is a healthcare advocate. Dr. Stanford's research in basic science, clinical research, and public health have been published in peer-reviewed medical journals and she has served as a medical correspondent for local and national news outlets. 
Dr. Stanford is the founder of the Black Doctors COVID-19 Consortium. The consortium was formed in response to the disproportionate number of African Americans being diagnosed and dying from coronavirus in Philadelphia and the lack of swift intervention to mitigate the spread of disease. The mission of the consortium is to educate, provide advocacy, and barrier-free coronavirus testing and vaccination to decrease the morbidity and mortality associated with the disease. To date, the Black Doctors COVID-19 Consortium has tested over 25,000 individuals and vaccinated over 53,000 patients, of which over 1,000 patients were vaccinated in their homes. Recently, on November 3rd, 2021, Dr. Stanford opened the Dr. Ayla Stanford Center for Health Equity to continue offering quality health care and education in the city of Philadelphia. More recently, on April 26th of this year, Dr. Stanford was appointed by President Biden as the Regional Director, Region 3 of the United States Department of Health and Human Services. Regional appointees are critical to the President's efforts to rebuild communities most impacted by the pandemic, the economic recovery, and climate change. Region 3 serves Delaware, the District of Columbia, Maryland, Pennsylvania, Virginia, and West Virginia. Madam President, I am proud to present to you our distinguished honoree, Dr. Ayla Stanford. On recommendation of the nominating committee and with the approval of the Board of Trustees and by virtue of the authority granted this institution and vested in me by the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, I confer on you, Ella Stanford, the degree of Doctor of Science honoris causa with all the rights and privileges pertaining thereto. In testimony thereof, I ask that you be invested with the hood symbolic of the degree and present you an official diploma. Please join me in congratulating our honorary degree recipient, Dr. Ayla Stanford. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. All right, for all of the parents and family members you have sacrificed for this beautiful day, so enjoy it, capture it. It only happens once, so be excited. I'm excited. Are you excited? Yes. Okay. Thank you for conferring this Doctor of Science degree and honoring me to be a member of this class of 2022. Thank you to the students for allowing me to share in your special day, the faculty and staff that made it possible for you all to work online and in person over these tumultuous years. And thank you to the Board of Trustees and President Weil and Provost and Dr. Barron. It seems only fitting that I would be here at the Leah Corus Center to make remarks to graduates who are scientists, administrators, healthcare professionals focused on pharmacy, policy, and humanities. Honestly, with the talent of all of you all and the skill set and nearly 500 strong, you could open, own, and operate your own hospital and science lab just with your staff. But in this building and in the chairs that many of you sit, we vaccinated tens and thousands of people, probably over 30,000. And so it's a bit nostalgic for me being here today because it looks totally different. Um, there are a lot of stories I could share with you, but one I want to share, it was February 2021, below 20 degrees, and people were wrapped around this building 
sitting in the very chairs that you're sitting in as well. And an EMT came up to me about 11 o'clock at night because there was a woman shivering. And I took an aluminum blanket to put around her. And I said, I'm going to get some coffee for you, and we're going to put you in an Uber to go home. And she said, I don't have Uber money. And if I drink this coffee, I might have to go to the bathroom when I take the bus on the way home. And of course, we took care of her, and we vaccinated her, and we made sure she got home safe. And I'm glad we could do that, but we have to make a promise to ourselves as healthcare professionals, just of people who care about other folks, that that should never happen again. That a 70-year-old woman needs to wait hours in 20-degree weather to get a treatment to save her life, a vaccination. We can do better, and we will, and that starts with you. Now that I serve the public through the United States Department of Health and Human Services, I can't tell you two years ago that I thought Dr. or President Biden would be calling to ask me to serve. But there are key initiatives that you all will carry on that are the same priorities, and that's the COVID recovery and response maternal health, mental wellness, the opioid crisis, and health equity. To test and treat for COVID is largely built on pharmacists. It is the pharmacists that test the patients, that educate them, that treat them with the antivirals, and then can vaccinate. All of that came from the field that you, many of you will enter. The armamentarium, two years ago, we weren't able to use an antiviral. We didn't have a vaccination. And so many of you in cell biology and microbiology, that is how things are better two years later. And then you have physician assistants. You'll have your own patients. Some of you will function as physician extenders. You will allow the practices to be more productive, but most importantly, empathetic in your healthcare delivery. And that couldn't be more true than with maternal health because your knowledge and compassion is desperately needed. In Philadelphia, for example, when black women represent 43% of the births, but 73% of the maternal related deaths. HHS has extended the postpartum coverage to cover now for 12 months after delivery but the only way to combat that unacceptable statistic is your ability to provide care and to eliminate that statistic. And then you have physical therapists. You allow people to live their best lives after stroke, car accidents, surgical procedures, and sometimes just the blessing of living longer. Occupational therapists, that help children with congenital conditions and adults and children with intellectual disability. So you can go into homes with patients that are sometimes homebound and don't, well, don't function well socially in public places. You can provide care for them so they're not isolated and soulless. Mental wellness is another focus and we know the suicide and homicide rates have increased, particularly with COVID, but you are ready to address that because I learned you also have psychologists that are graduating. And also not, ju not just those from mental health and the, and the death and the loss, but it's those who haven't lost their lives but have lost their way as they try to recover and bounce back. You help them find their hope and you will touch their lives. You also have medical humanities. It's what keeps us centered so that we don't lose sight of why we do what we do. The stories they share, the triumphs of the people with their teaching and research and studies, that's what really helps you get to health equity. The medical writers that share the story allow it to happen as they capture the moments with their words. I was a biology major. I worked in basic science labs during my training. 
I spent many days under a hood with a fan, reagents, and pipettes. Nothing in medicine and science occurs in a vacuum. It requires the intersectability of all the fields to have the best health outcomes. Being an entrepreneur and creating three medical businesses, all three serving three different patient populations and establishing my own nonprofit, what worked for me for all of those successes was being patient focused. Whether it's a master's of science in genomics or health administration or health informatics, it's keeping the patient first. I am a wife, a mother, a daughter, a granddaughter, a niece, a cousin, a friend to many. And I see many women graduating today. You can be all of those things and be committed to your healthcare profession. It definitely takes some finesse and the right partner. So be patient with yourselves and enjoy the journey. You graduates are a cohort who cares about the betterment of our fellow men and women. So I must take a minute to pause and acknowledge the lives that were lost yesterday in Texas, predominantly Latinx, or the businessman who was riding on a subway in New York and shot for no apparent reason, Asian women who were slaughtered in Atlanta in their workplace, families unsafe in a synagogue in Pittsburgh, and men and women murdered for being black in a grocery store in Buffalo, New York, or that child hit by a stray bullet when she slept in her bed at night. We cannot allow our hearts to harden. We need your optimism, your ingenuity, your energy to make things better. So continue to vote, advocate, write, donate, and perfect your craft. Set high expectations for yourself and your abilities. Decide that you will be the difference in a person's life and new development and creation. The University of the Sciences has prepared you properly in your field. And especially right now, you should all have job security. So be excited about that. You will be sought after for your expertise, your education, this investment that you have made in yourself, I promise will be the best choice you can make. It will open doors you did not know existed for you and your families. Graduate, be sure to take a minute to pat yourself on the back to look in the mirror and congratulate yourself. We are all able to celebrate today because of what you earned. Every day you open your eyes to see a new day is an opportunity. Harness the hope and the pride you feel today and use it as a catalyst for change. Thank you and Godspeed. Thank you, Dr. Stanford. Thank you for your service to our community and now in your new role to the nation. We have just bestowed upon you this university's highest honor. To have you become an alumnus with the class of 2022 enriches both this class and our institution. I now call on Provost Barron to present a member of the faculty with the Lindbach Foundation Award for Distinguished Teaching. Thank you, Madam President. Today, we celebrate the scholastic achievements of our graduates. This occasion also provides an opportunity to recognize excellence in teaching. I would like to call upon Dr. Michelle Canther to join me at the podium as this year's recipient of the Lindbach Foundation Award. 
The Lindback Foundation sponsors a biannual faculty award for distinguished teaching. Faculty members considered for the award are nominated by students, and the nominations are reviewed by a committee of both students and faculty. Nomination for this award is a tribute to the professionalism, knowledge, enthusiasm, and teaching skills of the faculty nominees, as well as to the mutual respect that exists between students and the faculty. Dr. Canther is a faculty member in the Department of Biological Sciences and has been part of the U Sciences faculty since 2017. She teaches coursework in principles and applications of immunology, general biology lab, micro molecular biology, and seed genes. This award stems from students' recognition of Dr. Canther's as followed in these quotes. Dr. Canther truly wants to see us grow as emerging scientists, and the course structure and assignments allow us to do so. Dr. Canther definitely helped me become a better scientist. When I started taking this course, I was very nervous and scared of failure. Dr. Canther also encouraged me to take opportunities to share my research with the larger scientific communities, which I truly appreciated. Overall, I will carry the skills I learned from Dr. Canther to my other research projects at the University of the Sciences, as well as to my future career endeavors. Dr. Canther always has her students' interests at heart. She is not just teaching for the examinations, she genuinely teaches in a way that promotes lifelong learning. Part of what makes Dr. Canther a great professor is the energy and realness that she brings to every class. The biggest impact Dr. Canther has had on me during the first and last 10 minutes of every class when she checks in with the students and talks through some of the things we have been going, that have been going on. It's comforting to talk it out with someone we know will listen and not judge. Dr. Canther is a very down-to-earth professor who loves to engage with students in a way that makes learning enjoyable. Dr. Canther teaches science in a way that is accessible to everyone and challenges students on many different academic levels to be the best students they can be. What is more important about Dr. Canther than just her teaching is her personal care for every student who she crosses paths with. She is one of the clearest examples of how scientists can and should develop the next generation to continue to make the field of biology more innovative, ethical, and kind. I cannot express how much Dr. Canther has impacted me in my time in college, and I can say that my college experience would not have been the same without her support. These are wonderful comments from her student nominators. Dr. Canther, it is my pleasure to present you with the Lindback Foundation Award for Distinguished Teaching. I can think of nothing more gratifying for a teacher than to have their endeavors recognized and acclaimed by their students and colleagues. Congratulations on this well-deserved honor, and now I invite you to say a few words. Um, so, I want to start by thanking the committee for their careful consideration of all of the nominations. I work with some really fantastic people, so I know that the decision could not have been easy. Um, I need to thank my husband. Uh, he is an incredibly dedicated father. He is an amazing editor, um, which you as my students have benefited from. Um, he has served as my guinea pig when I'm trying to try out new active learning activities, which don't always go as planned. Um, and he has supported and encouraged me as I have pursued my goals. Um, and then finally, I need to thank the students for their nomination. I am truly humbled and blown away. Sorry. <laughs> um, by your thoughtfulness. There is no greater reward as a teacher than to hear that your students have learned from you. 
I have learned so much from you as the students, um, and I continue to be inspired by you. Over the last five years, it's been amazing. You've challenged me to find creative ways to move beyond traditional lecture-based learning, motivated me to strive to develop new ways of presenting the complex material so that it is engaging and fun. I also love getting to know you as individuals, each with a different story. You're intelligent and imaginative individuals who will continue to surprise me with your, who continue to surprise me with your, with your thoughtful discussions and desire to learn. You all have served as an important bright spot over the last few years when the world has felt a little overwhelming and dark at times. When reflecting on what to talk about today, the theme that kept coming to my mind is change. Over the last several years, we have neg negotiated an immense amount of change as individuals moving through our different academic paths, made especially interesting by the COVID-19 pandemic. Remember that time we went online for two weeks? It might have been a little longer than that. Um, we, have, we have encountered change as a university as we have been anticipating the merger and the uncertainty that it has brought. We have experienced change as a community in the face of injustice as we've witnessed the killings of George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, Walter Wallace, and many others. The senseless shootings included in yesterday, which we saw in Texas, as well as the war in Ukraine. These tragedies have brought us together in support of each other, inspired us to engage in hard discussions. These events have and must continue to ignite in us the passion to work together to create change and find a better path forward. Change is constant and unpredictable. Change is scary, but it can also be exciting. Not all of the changes have been bad. The changes have pushed us to become more imaginative and creative in how we approach problems, how we learn, how we teach. In the face of these many challenges, we have found ways to come together, even when we physically couldn't, and we have supported one another in our communities. I have made connections with students and faculty that have challenged me to become a better person and a better teacher. Personally, I have navigated some significant changes since I first arrived on campus. My family has grown by an entire human being. All of these changes have led me to where I am today. I'm accepting this award from my students, which I am beyond grateful for. I will carry so much of what you have taught me as I move into the next chapter of my teaching career. I look forward to seeing the amazing things that you all accomplish. Have faith in yourselves and in each other no matter how life changes. You will navigate it with bravery and careful consideration. As you go out and face the impending changes, I want to leave you with a quote from Mae Jemison, the first African-American woman astronaut in space. Do not let anyone rob you of your imagination, your creativity, or your curiosity. It is your place in the world. It is your life. Go on and do all you can with it and make it the life you want to live. Thank you so much. Thank you, Dr. Cantor. Congratulations. And now, the moment you've all been waiting for, we will proceed with the presentation of the candidates for degrees. <laughs> These candidates have all met the requirements for their respective degrees, have been recommended by the faculty, faculty senate, and have been approved by the board of trustees of the University of the Sciences. Accordingly, and by virtue of the authority granted this institution and vested in me by the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, I confer on each candidate the appropriate degree with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereto. In testimony thereof, each graduate will be presented with an official diploma of University of the Sciences in Philadelphia. 
I now ask Provost Jill Barron to present the candidates for degrees in course. Thank you, Dr. Weil. Ladies and gentlemen, it is a privilege for me to present those students whom we are honoring today for the awarding of their diplomas. Ms. Tricia Daw will announce each graduate by program and class, beginning with the class of 2020, who has completed the requirements for their degree earned in course. The academic deans will congratulate the graduates on the completion of their degrees. In accordance with the order listed in the commencement program, the graduates will be congratulated by Dr. Patricia Ingrick, Director of Academics for U Sciences Online Division, Dr. Sinclair Smith, Dean of Samson College of Health Sciences, Dr. Nathan Baird, Interim Dean of Misher College of Arts and Sciences, and Dr. Edward Foote, the John Wyeth Dean of the Philadelphia College of Pharmacy and Dr. Laura Mondos, a member of the Faculty Senate Subcommittee on Prizes and Awards, will announce the commencement awards received by the graduates who have excelled in their individual programs as they process across the stage. For each group of degree recipients, the corresponding department chair or designated faculty member will be asked to come forward to congratulate the graduates. To the class of 2022, and to the graduates who have joined together with them from the classes of 2020 and 2021. Through your years here at University of the Sciences, you have built friendships and communities with each other and with the faculty and staff. You've achieved many successes and have encountered and overcome many challenges. But through all of these, you have gained knowledge and skills and have embraced values that will serve you well in the years ahead. On behalf of the faculty and staff who share with you today the enormous pride of your accomplishment, we extend our sincere congratulations upon the successful completion of this phase of your lifelong learning journey. We wish you well as you begin your next phase and hope you enjoy a full measure of professional success and personal fulfillment. I now call upon Ms. Tricia Daw to come forward and call the academic dean, chair, or their designee to congratulate the PhD candidates as she calls their name. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for such a warm welcome. Looks like I'm in the wrong place. It seems to be a theme today for me. Again, thank you. The Doctor of Philosophy candidates, Misher College of Arts and Sciences. All graduates from Misher College of Arts and Sciences will be congratulated by Dean Nathan Baird and doctoral degree recipients will be hooded by their advisor. Doctor of Philosophy in Cancer Biology. The recipient of this degree will be greeted by Dr. Peter Burkett. Are you ready? Very good, let's do it. Joseph Allen Zundel. <laughs> Dissertation title, targeting the IRE1 alpha XBP1 endoplasmic reticulum stress response in air ID 1A mutant ovarian clear cell carcinoma. <laughs> Join me again, once again, ladies and gentlemen, for congratulating the Doctor of Philosophy and Cancer Biology graduate. <laughs> Doctor of Philosophy in Cell and Molecular Biology. The recipients of this degree will be greeted by Dr. Peter Burgett. Nada Sami Balwazir. <laughs> Tuning of plasma membrane charge regulates cell migration and energy. Sana Abdurrahman Fadil. The contractile vacuole is part of the polarity circuit of the cell with redistribution to the rear and exocytosis contributing to the signal relay and cellular streaming.
Gabriella Antonia De Michele. Characterization of novel yeast species and integration into a course-based undergraduate research experience. Daniel Gibson Marinich. The role of septin-mediated guidance of non-centrosomal microtubules, focal adhesions, and endothelial cell migration. <laughs> David Ray Mullins. Investigation of microRNA as a potential biomarkers to optimize Chinese hamster ovary process development for biopharmaceuticals. Amrut Patel. <laughs> Elucidating the neuroprotective mechanism of action of compounds derived from the petroleum ether Achillea, my, my, excuse me, millifolium extract. <laughs> Almost got it. You got it. I, I'll take it. Very good. <laughs> so once again, ladies and gentlemen, please join me in congratulating, congratulating the Doctor of Philosophy in Cell and Molecular Biology graduates. The Doctor of Philosophy in Health Policy. The recipients of this degree will be greeted by Dr. Elizabeth Jenke. Hani. Abdan Algami. <laughs> Potential impact of medical marijuana laws on Hispanic high school students' self-reported use of marijuana. <laughs> Alice M. Murphy. <laughs> Correlating laboratory biomarkers with mortality in patients with COVID-19, sepsis, or cardiovascular illness. Bridget McArdle Newberry, Geographic Disparities of Human Papillomavirus Cancer, Human Papillomavirus Vaccine, and the Effective Policy. And Jennifer Seip, The Lived Experience of the Homeless Veteran. Please join me once again in congratulating the Doctor of Philosophy in Health Policy graduates. Next on the list, we have the Doctor of Philosophy candidates, Philadelphia College of Pharmacy. All graduates from the Philadelphia College of Pharmacy will be congratulated by Dean Edward Foote, and doctoral degree recipients will be hooded by their advisor. Doctor of Philosophy in Pharmaceutics. The recipients of this degree will be greeted by Dr. Sri Kama, excuse me, Sri Rama Kamal Janalaganan from the class of 2021. Matthew Nathan Barr. <laughs> Understanding the role of pharmaceutical solubilizing recipients on the concentration of poorly water-soluble drugs using high throughput experimentation and mechanistic modeling. <laughs> Rakesh Patel. Amer Ayad Alamadi. Pre formulation and formulation studies for the development of orally effective phenylalanine ammonia lyase microcapsules for the man management of phenylketuria. <laughs> Meet Desai. Study of solid state transitions and its impact on solubility of repaglenide. <laughs> Bernard Matthew Kiernan. <laughs> Comparing empirically derived enthalpy changes in silico solubility parameter distances, a predictive eutectic screening model for the GSK3 beta inhibitor. <laughs> Tetaglucin. 
please, once again, ladies and gentlemen, join me in congratulating the Doctor of Philosophy in Pharmaceutics graduates. <laughs> Doctor of Philosophy in Pharmacology and Toxicology. The recipients of this degree will be greeted by Dr. Bin Chen. From the class of 2022, Matthew Stephen Mansi. The enhancement of aminolebulinic acid mediated protoporphin 9 for cancer fluorescence detection and photodynamic therapy. <laughs> Yes, join me, please congratulate the Doctor of Philosophy in Pharmac Pharmacology and Toxicology graduate. U Sciences Online. All graduates from the U Sciences Online will be congratulated by Dr. Patricia Ingrick. Master of Science in Genomics. From the class of 2022, Timothy Frieda. Kalise Horn. Autumn Snape. Once again, big round of applause. Congratulate the Master of Science in Genomics graduates. And moving on to the Master of Science in Health Administration from the class of 2022, Brianna Harris-Bissell. <laughs> Subin Lee. Once again, please join me, congratulate once again the Master of Science in Health Administration graduates. <laughs> from the Samson College of Health Sciences, all graduates from the Samson College of Health Sciences will be congratulated by Dean Sinclair Smith. Doctor of Recipient in Physical Therapy. Recipients of this degree will be greeted by Dr. Laura Packel. From the class of 2020, Victoria Mai No, graduating cum laude. From the class of 2021, Patrick Carr, graduating magna cum laude. <laughs> Joby Sherian. <laughs> Peter C. Ng, graduating summa cum laude. <laughs> Alana Pollen, graduating magna cum laude. And from the class of 2022, Marina Lynn Abatello, graduating magna cum laude. So Hila Abu Haif, graduating. Nigeria Ife Renee Addison, graduating cum laude. Jibrin Akane Kolile. Nicholas Angelucci. Colton James Apgar, graduating magna cum laude. Larmaris Arus, graduating magna cum laude. Sarah Elizabeth Bibb. Stephen E. Blanchard. Woo! 
Mabry Ann Brinsenhoff, graduating magna cum laude. Alaire Shannon Brock, graduating cum laude. Anthony Isaac Cabrera, graduating magna cum laude. Mary Catherine Carlin, graduating magna cum laude. Philip L. Chen, graduating cum laude. Congratulations to Philip for being named a recipient of the William B. Inverso Junior Award for Excellence in Physical Therapy Research. Deja Cheyenne Crippen, graduating magna cum laude. Congratulations to Deja for being named a recipient of the William B. Inverso Junior Award for Excellence in Physical Therapy Research. Muhammad Ali F. Duji, graduating cum laude. Christopher D. Domenico, graduating cum laude. Mary Donovan is graduating magna cum laude as well. And Stephen Anthony East, graduating summa cum laude. Congratulations to Stephen for being named the Alumni Association Award recipient for the Sansom College of Health Sciences. Alyssa Eckstein, graduating magna cum laude. Catherine Aaliyah, graduating cum laude. Stephanie Engelite, graduating cum laude. Brianna Lynn Franco, Graduating summa cum laude. Claire Renee Gerlitz. Graduating summa cum laude. Brandon A. Gilday. Graduating summa cum laude. Christy Lee Hansen. Graduating cum laude. Ashley Selena Harris, graduating magna cum laude. Kylie Ann Heath, graduating summa cum laude. Matthew J. Herbert, graduating magna cum laude. Kelsey Han Jakimowitz, graduating magna cum laude. Kanika Jathani. Chandler C. Johnson, graduating summa cum laude. Congratulations to Chandler for being awarded the Pacman Family Award in Physical Therapy. Elizabeth Shanna Kanan, graduating magna cum laude. Zachary Kaufman, graduating summa cum laude. Scott John Keffer, graduating summa cum laude. Congratulations to Scott for receiving the Physical Therapy Faculty Award. Rachel Klasmer, graduating magna cum laude. Carly Levin, 
Graduating summa cum laude. Allison Hoy Yin Mark, graduating summa cum laude. Bajita Mystery, graduating magna cum laude. Rafael Moreno, graduating cum laude. Margarita Munoz, graduating summa cum laude. Ty Musari. Kenny Musari. Samuel Naftulin, graduating cum laude. Gayathri Nair, graduating cum laude. Catherine O'Brien, graduating summa cum laude. Rosemary Ann O'Halloran, graduating summa cum laude. Brianna M. Pasqua. Vinita Patel, graduating magna cum laude. Patrick Michael Pennypacker, graduating magna cum laude. Sarah Pietropola, graduating magna cum laude. Vincent Thomas Pingara, graduating magna cum laude. Janina Fabricante Ragudo, graduating cum laude. Gabrielle Nicole Rook, graduating summa cum laude. Sarah Sammy, graduating cum laude. Courtney Amber Saxton, graduating magna cum laude. Nicole Schlinger, graduating summa cum laude. Jason Cito. Emily Teresa Schellenberger, graduating cum laude. Jobin Tarakin. Congratulations to Jobin for being awarded the William B. Inverso Jr. Award for Excellence in Physical Therapy Research. Edward Charles Tipton, graduating cum laude. Courtney Tyluki, graduating magna cum laude. Nicole H. Visdom, graduating summa cum laude. Sophia Wang, graduating cum laude. Jack Wang, graduating cum laude. Cheyenne Nicole Zubek, graduating magna cum laude. Ladies and gentlemen, a huge round of applause and join me in congratulating the Doctor of Physical Therapy graduates.
I'm honored to introduce the Doctor of Occupational Therapy. Recipients of this degree will be greeted by Dr. Wendy Walsh from the class of 2021. Gianna Rose Serco, graduating magna cum laude. From the class of 2022, Keisha Jewel D. Beltran, graduating magna cum laude with a minor in psychology. Brooke C. Braddock. Amanda Carter, graduating magna cum laude. Laura Ciapetta, graduating summa cum laude. Congratulations to Laura for being awarded the Occupational Therapy Faculty Award. Brielle Lorraine Cunningham. Rebecca Casado. <laughs> Jessica Ann Edler. Kara Gillespie, graduating cum laude. Anisha Geardhar. Tessa Grace Glennon, graduating magna cum laude. Nimisha Govind, graduating summa cum laude. Dominique Hoffman, graduating magna cum laude. Lauren Summer Maslinski, graduating magna cum laude. Lauren Summer Maslinski, did I say it right? We've been working on this. Did I say it right? <laughs> Brielle Kayla Mulligan, graduating magna cum laude. Kaylee Barry Noss, graduating magna cum laude. Caitlin Elizabeth Reichert. Nicole Rivera. Congratulations to Nicole for receiving the Danielle Brigali Memorial Award. Lila Ritigliano, graduating cum laude. <laughs> Melissa Luen Young, graduating summa cum laude with a minor in psychology. Join me, ladies and gentlemen, in congratulating the Doctor of Occupational Therapy graduates. The Master of Occupational Therapy, these recipients of this degree will be greeted by Dr. Wendy Walsh. From the class of 2020, Brandy Jones. From the class of 2022, Nikki Adams, graduating magna cum laude. Sophia Bergeron, graduating summa cum laude. Casey Burke, graduating magna cum laude. 
Sydney Calkins, graduating summa cum laude. She said, thanks, Dad. <laughs> Stephanie Chapman, graduating cum laude. Carlene Conte, graduating magna cum laude. Joelle Cope, graduating magna cum laude. Ariel Cuso, graduating magna cum laude. Liani Cuevas, graduating magna cum laude. Jacqueline Daniel, graduating magna cum laude. Morgan Dram, graduating summa cum laude. Stephanie Garner, graduating magna cum laude. Mitchell Garrity, also graduating cum laude. Kara Gilliberti, graduating summa cum laude. Janae Harris, graduating summa cum laude. Kristen Hernandez, graduating summa cum laude. Congratulations to Kristen for being awarded the Occupational Therapy Faculty Award. Jada Hines, graduating cum laude. Anna Hopkins, graduating magna cum laude. Calvin Jim. Stacy can you it? Graduating summa cum laude. Caroline Keach. Graduating summa cum laude. Jessica Lipchek. Graduating summa cum laude. Brianna Mangana, graduating magna cum laude. Rachel McMahon, graduating summa cum laude. Jillian Mendez, graduating cum laude. Jasmine Gabrell Mills, graduating cum laude. Kimberly Murphy, graduating magna cum laude. Allison Pastor, graduating also magna cum laude. Angelina Pisano, graduating magna cum laude. Kelly Quintanilla, graduating cum laude. Natalie Roby, graduating cum laude. Cheyenne Rowe, graduating magna cum laude. Nunzia Scotto, graduating cum laude. Hardy Shaw, Graduating magna cum laude. Rachel Simone, graduating magna cum laude. Leanne Terabakia, graduating magna cum laude.
Lauren Taylor, graduating summa cum laude. Allison Thomas, graduating summa cum laude. <laughs> Elisa Treviso, graduating cum laude. Holly Vandenberg, graduating magna cum laude. Angelina Welch, graduating magna cum laude. Congratulations to Angel Angelina for receiving the Danielle Marie Gailey Memorial Award. Kelsey Winton, graduating magna cum laude. So ladies and gentlemen, join me please in congratulating the Master of Occupational Therapy graduates. the Bachelor of Science in Exercise Physiology. Recipients of this degree will be greeted by Dr. Patrick, Patrick DeWitt, excuse me, from the class of 2022. Veronica Dark, graduating magna cum laude. Masanji Doso. Congratulations to Masanji for being awarded the Warren Rose Mirren Alumni Award. Oh, thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Join me once again a huge round of applause for the Bachelor of Science in Exercise Physiology graduates. The Bachelor of Science in Health Science. Recipients of this degree will be greeted by Dr. Patrick DeVitt. From the class of 2021, Dante Vincent Cercia, graduating summa cum laude. Aksari Ahmed, with a minor in social sciences. Christina Jasmine Bautista. Tamazu Buyin. Megan Marie Dunphy, graduating magna cum laude. Juliana Rose Gora. Yeah. Yeah. Ethan Halprin, graduating summa cum laude. Marissa Alana Henderson, graduating with a minor in psychology. Tammy Esther Megaduke, graduating summa cum laude with a minor in neuroscience. Michaela Miller. Daisha Nock, graduating cum laude. Ashley Giovannia Pierre, graduating with a minor in psychology. Gabrielle Nicole Sims, magna cum laude. Congratulations to Gabrielle for being awarded the Morris and Edna B. Kratz Award. Gowry Sudersenin. Marin Ann Thomas. 
Please, ladies and gentlemen, join me in congratulating the Bachelor of Science in Health Science graduates. The Misher College of Arts and Sciences. All graduates from Misher College of Arts and Sciences can be congratulated by Dean Nathan Baird. The Master of Science in Bioinformatics. Recipients of this degree will be greeted by Dr. Zijun Lee. Stephanie Anita Gross. Join me once more, huge round of applause for Stephanie, the graduate of the Master of Science in Bioinformatics. The Master of Science in Biomedical Writing. Recipients of this degree will be greeted by Dr. Kathleen O'Connell and Dr. Danny Binau. From the class of 2021, Jaquetta Ineta Lee. From the class of 2022, Susan M. Blanchard. Lauren M. Brett. Catherine Garrity. Michelle Christine Hyman. Cynthia A. Morgan. Brittany Lindsay Shepherd Kadur. Michelle Eileen Stofa. Join me once more, ladies and gentlemen, in congratulating the Master of Science in Biomedical Writing graduates. Master of Science in Cell Biology and Biotechnology. Recipients of this degree will be greeted by Dr. Kenneth Myers and Dr. Bella Pithamberin. Jilda Bucko. One more huge round of applause for Jilda, the Master of Science in Cell Biology and Technology graduate. The Master of Science in Health Policy and recipients of this degree will be greeted by Dr. Elizabeth Jenke, Douglas Sarfo. He was not able to be with us today, but he is the sole recipient of the Master of Science in Health Policy. So moving on, ladies and gentlemen, to the Master of Science in Health Psychology. Recipients of this degree will be greeted by Dr. Elizabeth Jenke and Dr. Steve Moulter. From the class of 2022, Christina A. Nuno. <laughs> Joseph Opendaker. David Joseph Perlman. Once again, big round of applause for those recipients of the Master of Science in Health Psychology. The Bachelor of Science in Biochemistry. Recipients of this degree will be greeted by Dr. Madhu Mahalingam. From the class of 2020, Thomas W. Nelligan. Not with us today from 2021 is Jillian Wachera Jones. She graduated with summa cum laude with a minor in mathematics. Moving on to the class of 2022, Faith Ann Aluni, graduating summa cum laude. Christopher Greenlee Blum, Graduating magna cum laude with a minor in mathematics. 
Congratulations to Christopher for being awarded the Dr. Lewis Weber Memorial Research Award in Biochemistry. Congratulating Stephen Booth. Peter Dow, graduating cum laude. <laughs> Hannah Gabriella Gibbs, graduating cum laude with a minor in humanities. Emily Hattrell, graduating cum laude. Nicholas George Miller, graduating cum laude. Aubrey Rain Shaw, graduating magna cum laude with a minor in mathematics. Congratulations to Aubrey for being awarded the Virginia Rebo Osel Memorial Prize. Most Tamana Yasmin, graduating summa cum laude with a minor in neuroscience. Big round of applause. Join me, ladies and gentlemen, in congratulating the Bachelor of Science in Biochemistry graduates. The Bachelor of Science in Biology. Recipients of this degree will be greeted by Dr. Kevin Wolbach. From the class of 2021, Jacob DeSteele. Christopher Dolce, graduating magna cum laude. Anthony Lim Pangilinan, graduating cum laude with a minor in mathematics. Alec Shirk. Barry J. Soth, gradu graduating with a minor in environmental science. And the class of 2022, Matthew Abraham, graduating summa cum laude. Reed Alexander Andress, graduating magna cum laude. Alice Chen. Justin Thomas Dirk, graduating summa cum laude. Congratulations to Justin for being named the Morris and Edna B. Kratz recipient. Bianca Galis, graduating with a minor in microbiology. Congratulations to Bianca for receiving the Francis M. White American Institute of Biological Sciences Award. Chelsea Joy Hennison, graduating with a minor in business. Brianna Halton. Michaela Lee, graduating summa cum laude. Sarah Ann Macko, graduating magna cum laude with a minor in psychology. Christopher J. Morganweck. Serena Mullicle Thomas. Graduating magna cum laude. Luisa Cristina Volpatado. Graduating magna cum laude. Big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, in congratulating all of the recipients of the Bachelor of Science in Biology. The Bachelor of Science in Biomedical Sciences 
Recipients of this degree will be greeted by Dr. Kevin Wolvac. From the class of 2020, Vanita M. Chan. Keely Hiroka, graduating cum laude with a minor in neuroscience. Eric Jacob Levy, graduating cum laude with a minor in humanities and a minor in forensic science. From the class of 2021, Maya Dugan. Logan Mason. And from the class of 2022, Nena Kechi Abikporo. Purva Acharya, graduating magna cum laude. Vishaka Underwal, graduating magna cum laude with a minor in psychology. Amin Ahuja, graduating magna cum laude with a minor in humanities and an undergraduate certificate in racism and health. Nashra Amir, graduating with a minor in social sciences. Barthi Balaji, graduating summa cum laude with a minor in mathematics. Aditi Basu, graduating summa cum laude with a minor in humanities and a minor in social sciences. Congratulations to Aditi for receiving the Joseph and Nancy Ruane Commencement Award. Orla Martina Brosnan. Alexis Michelle Kasari, graduating with a minor in psychology. Laura Chagum, graduating summa cum laude. Rahi Praveen Chapla, graduating summa cum laude. Savannah Marie Coleman, graduating summa cum laude with a minor in mathematics. Moises David Cuevas Frias, graduating cum laude. <laughs> Jenna M. Delal, graduating cum laude. Mohammed El Saeed. Ariel Ateji, graduating cum laude. Marissa and Farrell, graduating with a minor in mathematics. Valeria Gutavia, graduating cum laude with a minor in psychology. Star McKay Hannum, graduating cum laude with a minor in societies and health. Sahas Hurry, graduating magna cum laude with a minor in data science. Lon V. Win Tong. Graduating magna cum laude with a minor in humanities. Tululupe M. Ilori, graduating with a minor in bioinformatics. Zaina Issa, graduating cum laude with a minor in environmental science. Hima Joshi, graduating magna cum laude. 
Hina Joshi, graduating magna cum laude. Stuthi Sunil Joshi, graduating cum laude with a minor in neuroscience. Parthik Kalbampathy, graduating magna cum laude with a minor in data science. Christian Kells. Joshua Kim. Samantha A. Kopek, graduating cum laude with a minor in biology. <coughs> Jack Kozurowski. Cheyenne Marie Leonard, graduating cum laude. Jennifer Leong, graduating magna cum laude. Salma Mahir, graduating summa cum laude with a minor in Spanish. Nicolette E. Markakis, graduating summa cum laude with a minor in microbiology. Julia Rose McGowan. Natara Menon, graduating summa cum laude with a minor in chemistry. Michelle Ann Nelson, graduating with a minor in social sciences. Timothy Odesot, I don't believe is with us today. Angelica B. Patel, graduating magna cum laude with a minor in Spanish and a Spanish for Healthcare Professionals certificate. Congratulations to Angelica for being awarded the Community Service Award. Julie R. Patel. Maitri Patel. Maya Yogan Patel, graduating magna cum laude with a minor in humanities. Shivong Patel, graduating summa cum laude. Neil Pathakar, graduating summa cum laude with a minor in humanities. Taylor Pumpan, graduating magna cum laude with a minor in neuroscience. Patricia Raj, graduating magna cum laude with a minor in psychology. Hannah Elizabeth Rogers. Congratulations to Hannah for being the recipient of the Martin and Karen Gibbs Prize in Social Science. Timothy Fom Saheed. Congratulations to Timothy for receiving the Irene Mock Memorial Prize. Venezia Sanchez, graduating summa cum laude with a minor in psychology. Paige Schlechter, graduating summa cum laude with a minor in pharmaceutical and healthcare business and an undergraduate certificate in racism and health. Noelle Skilton, graduating with a minor in mathematics. Dana Rose Smarina, graduating summa cum laude. Ivy Zarek. Ivy. 
Natalia Velez Rosario, graduating cum laude. Rebecca Huang Yan Yi, graduating magna cum laude. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in congratulating, congratulating the Bachelor of Science in Biomedical Sciences graduates. <laughs> Bachelor of Science in Chemistry. Recipients of this degree will be greeted by Dr. Madhu Malhalingam. From the class of 2020, Shabur Begum, graduating cum laude with a minor in business and a minor in mathematics. Christopher Williams, graduating with a minor in mathematics. From the class of 2021, Serena Taylor Savage, graduated magna cum laude with a minor in mathematics and the class of 2022. Kristen Danielle Gilmore. Yeah. Nathaniel Baldwin Howell. Yeah. Haley Elizabeth Kemper, graduating summa cum laude with a minor in mathematics. Congratulations to Haley for receiving the Lewis A. Rubber Memorial Research Award in Chemistry. Raymond Michael Cress III, graduating cum laude with a minor in mathematics. Benjamin Lewis Skultetti, graduating magna cum laude. Luke Michael Tufaro, graduating cum laude with a minor in mathematics. Once again, put your hands together, ladies and gentlemen, and join me in congratulating the Bachelor of Science in Chemistry graduates. The Bachelor of Science in Data Science. Recipients of this degree will be greeted by Dr. Abel, I'm sorry, excuse me, Abel Fazil Seganfi. Leah Ann Matthew. Huge round of applause for Leah, the sole recipient of the Bachelor of Science in Data Science. <laughs> Bachelor of Science in Medical Humanities. Recipients of this degree will be greeted by Dr. Jeffrey Brown. From the class of 2022. Isaac Bruce Will Hoskins. Congratulations to Isaac for being awarded the Dr. Bernard Whitlin Class of 38 Award in Microbiology, the Dr. Louis Gershenfeld Memorial Prize in Microbiology, and the Johnson & Johnson Research Innovation Award. Isaac is also receiving a Bachelor of Science in Microbiology and is graduating summa cum laude. Shalini Parekh, graduating with a minor in Psychology. Kashev Katan Patel, graduating summa cum laude with a minor in Biology. Please join me in congratulating the Bachelor of Science in Medical Humanities graduates. The Bachelor of Science in Medical Laboratory Science. Recipients of this degree will be greeted by Ms. Diane Valentin. From the class of 2022, Christina L. Bowie. Alexandra Gibson. Evan James Malcolm. Salvatore G. Maltese. 
Salvatore is graduating with a minor in biology. V. Lee Chung No. Congratulations to V for receiving the Medical Laboratory Science Award. Allison J. Steinmiller, graduating magna cum laude. Kayla Marianne Wheatley. Once again, join me in congratulating the Bachelor of Science in Medical Laboratory Science graduates. The Bachelor of Science in Microbiology. Recipients of this degree will be greeted by Dr. Jason Heindel. From the class of 2022, Brittany McGlone. Caroline Elizabeth Verone, graduating summa cum laude with a minor in Spanish. Congratulations to Caroline for receiving the Mildred Wasserman Award. Delena L. Worrell, graduating summa cum laude with a minor in environmental science. Once again, huge round of applause for those graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Microbiology. The Bachelor of Science in Neuroscience. Recipients of this degree will be greeted by Dr. Steve Moulter. From the class of 2021, Jessica Lynn Coulter is graduating summa cum laude with a minor in social sciences. <laughs> Madeline Grace Martinelli, graduating magna cum laude with a minor in psychology. Amama Mir. From the class of 2022, Isaiah Walter Dixon, graduating with a minor in psychology. Keshair S. Hoggy, graduating summa cum laude. Brianna Emma Linneman, graduating magna cum laude. Nikita Patel, graduating cum laude with a minor in humanities. Kevin Ramiro Ruda, graduating with a minor in Spanish. David Stephen Tomlinson, graduating summa cum laude. Congratulations to David for being the recipient of the Martin and Karen Gibbs Prize in Biological Sciences. Marissa Catherine Tumaz, graduating summa cum laude with a minor in toxicology. Abigail White, graduating magna cum laude. Congratulations to Abigail for receiving the, Michael, the Mitchell I. Steinberg Family Commencement Award. And once again, please join me in congratulating the Bachelor of Science in Neuroscience graduates. <laughs> the Bachelor of Science in Pharmaceutical Chemistry. Recipients of this degree will be greeted by Dr. Madhu Malahitlingam. And from the class of 2022, Dhruv Yatin Dingani, graduating summa cum laude. Con Congratulations to Dhruv for being named the recipient of the American Chemical Society Award and the Dr. Louis J. Rubber Memorial Research Award in Pharmaceutical Chemistry. Christopher Brandon Mead, graduating cum laude with a minor in mathematics. Christopher Thomas Paseco, graduating cum laude. Zoe Elizabeth Timothy, graduating summa cum laude. Congratulations to Zoe for achieving the Lena Delisser Matthews Award. 
And once again, huge round of applause for those graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Pharmaceutical Chemistry. <laughs> Bachelor of Science in Physics. Recipients of this degree will be greeted by Dr. Aliyah Eskenazi. From the graduating class of 2020, Brett Conti, graduated summa cum laude. Carla Maletic, graduated summa cum laude as well. And from the class of 2022, Eric Cauley. <laughs> Joseph Duffy, graduating summa cum laude. Kiran Ramanathan, graduating magna cum laude. Sebastian Riley Spawn. Please join me in congratulating the Bachelor of Science in Physics graduates. The Bachelor of Science in Psychology. Recipients of this degree will be greeted by Dr. Elizabeth Jenke and Dr. Steve Moulter. Isabel Jasmine Hurst, graduating magna cum laude. Kylie Morgan Rechak, graduating summa cum laude. Ali Marie Hushin, graduating cum laude. Christine Ju, graduating cum laude with a minor in Spanish. Kevin Shori, Chung Wai Yu, and that concludes the recipients of the Bachelor of Science in Psychology. Please, big round of applause. <laughs> Moving on to the Philadelphia College of Pharmacy. All graduates from the Philadelphia College of Pharmacy will be congratulated by Dean Edward Foote. Doctor of Pharmacy. Recipients of this degree will be greeted by Dr. Kathy Poon. From the class of 2020, Gung Ho Anthony Lee. Brielle Jane Akulix. Sarah Jane Sordakowski. Graduating magna cum laude with a minor in exercise science and wellness management. From the class of 2021, Muniba Abdul. Reagan Linda Assay. Graduating magna cum laude. Ashley Nguyen. And from the class of 2021, Lael Abdulel. <laughs> Rasha Mohammed Abul Sadat. <laughs> Graduating magna cum laude. Congratulations to Rasha for being one of the recipients of the Cantor Family Prize and the HVS Laboratory Award as well as the Sarah Shapiro Award. Joshua Abraham. Andrew Aitken, graduating magna cum laude. Kirtana Akasetti. Sadina Afrin Ali. Janan Amin, graduating cum laude. 
Congratulations to Janan for being one of the awardees of the Benjamin Greenbaum Class of 1938 Memorial Prize. Asumta Anyang Wu, graduating magna cum laude. Congratulations to Asumta for receiving the Michael F. Dollerton Memorial Prize. Celine Therese Abdatelian, graduating summa cum laude. Mina Awad, graduating cum laude. Sifa Khan Bashi. Logan Anthony Bersani. Naya Bardwaj, graduating magna cum laude. Arman Buyan, graduating magna cum laude. Gabrielle Anna Brooks. Graduating cum laude. Congratulations to Gabrielle for receiving one of the Elizabeth Abby Appleby Awards. Christopher Roldan Cardace, graduating cum laude. Congratulations to Christopher for being awarded the Monmouth County Society of Pharmacists Memorial Graduation Award and being one of the recipients of the GlaxoSmithKline Commencement Award. Valentina Cherapanova. <laughs> Selena Choi. <laughs> Jenna Contrivo, graduating magna cum laude. Gabrielle Nicole Daisy. Joseph Christopher Dantes. Vincent David. Sean Michael Demter Jr. graduating cum laude. David Eric Dill, graduating magna cum laude. Congratulations to David for being the recipient of the Margaret Mary Coolin Memorial Award and one of the recipients of the Joseph L. Gard Commencement Awards. Joseph Anthony DiStefano, graduating cum laude. Robert Ducat. Amankrit Kar Doku, graduating summa cum laude. Reina S. Ulias. Erica Brienne Buss, graduating magna cum laude. Ashley Giberghis, graduating cum laude. Margot D. Graybill, graduating summa cum laude. Congratulations to Margot for being the recipient of the Remington Memorial Prize, the Johnson & Johnson McNeil Consumer Division Award, and one of the recipients of the Joseph L. Gard Commencement Award. Alex Matthew Green, graduating magna cum laude. Anna Haley, graduating magna cum laude. Yeri Han, graduating cum laude. Yeah. 
Jordan Philip Heldman, graduating cum laude. Congratulations to Jordan for being named the Hyman C. Bogash Drug Salesman Association of Pennsylvania Award winner. Julie Ng, graduating summa cum laude. Congratulations to Julie for being awarded the Walters Kluver Clinical Drug Information Award of Excellence. Farouz F. Jahan. <laughs> Emily Ann Coleman, graduating cum laude. Jasmine Carr, graduating magna cum laude with a master's in health administration and a Spanish for Healthcare Professionals certificate. Congratulations to Jasmine as one of the winners of the Elizabeth Ebby Appleby Awards. Sohabib Kokar, graduating cum laude. Sejin Kim, graduating cum laude. Mark Knightley. Christopher Patrick Kwok. Alexander Lamb. Graduating magna cum laude. Dong Hun Lee. Julia Leung. Graduating summa cum laude. Peng Fei Lee. Graduating summa cum laude. Congratulations to Peng Fei for receiving the Johnson & Johnson Award one of the Merck Awards and the Gibbs Award for Humanities. Sade Taylor Andrina Lloyd. <laughs> Kelvin M. Liu, graduating summa cum laude. Congratulations to Kelvin for receiving one of the Merck Awards. Cynthia P. Lee. Graduating summa cum laude. Congratulations to Cynthia for being named the Pennsylvania American Society of Consultant Pharmacists Graduation Awardee for Excellence in Geriatric Care. Priya Ann Money. Ryan James McGurin, graduating magna cum laude. Daniel Thomas Mersman, graduating cum laude. Congratulations to Daniel for receiving the Pharmacy Leadership Recognition Award. Sienna C. Miles, graduating cum laude. Congratulations to Sienna for being awarded the Albert E. Rossica Junior Memorial Prize and the Viatrice Excellence of Pharmacy Award. Karen. Evelyn Namubiru. Brandon Kwong. Megan Neiman, graduating cum laude. Congratulations to Megan for being named one of the recipients of the Benjamin Greenbaum Class of 1938 Memorial Prize. Jessica Orozco. Congratulations to Jessica for being named one of the recipients of the Benjamin Greenbaum Class of 1938 Memorial Prize. Victor Pack, graduating magna cum laude. Congratulations to Victor for being one of the recipients of the Cantor Family Prize. Taylor Nicole Perijon, graduating cum laude.
Mishka Tejas Patel, graduating cum laude. Krishna B. Patel. Radha Deepak Patel, graduating summa cum laude. Congratulations to Radha for being named the Theodore I. Goldblum Memorial Prize recipient. Christine Danielle Payne, graduating summa cum laude. Congratulations to Christine for being one of the recipients of the GlaxoSmithKline Commencement Award, the Joseph L. Gard Commencement Award, and the John E. Kramer Commencement Award. Robert Paul Fleckel, Jr., graduating magna cum laude. Kwa Tung Fong. Congratulations to Kwa for being awarded the Pennsylvania Pharmacist Association Outstanding Pharmacy Student Award. Raina Puri, graduating magna cum laude. Congratulations to Raina for being one of the recipients of the Monmouth County Society of Pharmacists Memorial Graduation Award. Siraj Arun Ribadia. Andrew Ridkadim. Justin Parker Robertson. William Ron. Elizabeth Grace Sowers, graduating magna cum laude. Congratulations to Elizabeth for receiving the Herbert L. Frelack Award. Amanda Marie Semmelsberger, graduating summa cum laude. Kimberly Rose Sharp, graduating cum laude. Ryan Shu, graduating magna cum laude. Ayush Sood, graduating summa cum laude. Jessica Tranchina, graduating cum laude. Varun Venegopal, graduating cum laude. Michael Walk. Victoria Ann Weiner. There are many to be congratulated in this fine group, so please join me. Congratulations to the Doctor of Pharmacy graduates. The Master of Business Administration in Pharmaceutical and Healthcare Business. Recipients of this degree will be greeted by Dr. Anuja Gupta. Crystal Charmaine Askew. Delaney Baptiste. Ingrid Kath. Beaver Kepner. Leona Binfield. John William Bookwalter, the second MD. Danielle 
M. Booth. Stone O'Luck. Mm. Allison Michelle Bromley. <laughs> Robert Anthony Brown. Ernest Chu. Rosalinda Marie De Geronimo. <laughs> Esther Fairs. <laughs> Stephanie Freeman. Curtis Geiger. <laughs> Kathleen Elizabeth Houghton. Kareem Adele Fami Ayad Ibrahim. Ariana Christine Ioandi. Adam Jeffrey Kovalik. Rashab D. Lagdawalla. Matthew Stephen Listner. Kristen Ball Motley. Lisa Hyunsoon Nam. Anjali J. Patel. Ayushi Fruohit. Kiana Sepp. Kimberly Zajunk. And ladies and gentlemen, huge round of applause to congratulate the Master of Business Administration and Pharmaceutical and Healthcare Business graduates. Master of Science in Pharmacology and Toxicology. Recipients of this degree will be greeted by Dr. Isabel Mercier. From the class of 2020, Lama Nasser Abdullah. Neuroprotective role of SRT1720 against hydrogen peroxide induced oxidative stress in N2, NT2 cells. Abdullah H. Al Harbi, repurposing FDA approved antipsychotic drugs for the treatment of triple negative breast cancer. Join me again. Huge round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, for the graduates of the Pharmacology and Toxicology program. <laughs> Bachelor of Science in Pharmaceutical <laughs> Healthcare Business. Recipients of this degree will be greeted by Anuja, Dr. Anuja Gupta. From the class of 2020, Samantha Patrice Spurrier. From the class of 2021, Austin Kennedy. Matthew McClellan. From the class of 2022, Elias Agostini. Christopher James Anderson. Nicholas Sorelli. Michael Kulin, graduating summa cum laude. Jordan Tyree Davidson, graduating magna cum laude.
Mackenzie Gill. Luzdari G. Ileska, graduating cum laude with a minor in Spanish. Muskan Kandar. Sophia Ann Patrangalo. Joseph Saul San Filippo, graduating summa cum laude. Congratulations to Joseph for winning the Healthcare Business and Policy Leadership Award. Please once again join me in congratulating the Bachelor of Science in Pharmaceutical and Healthcare Business graduates. The Bachelor of Science in Pharmaceutical Sciences. Recipients of this degree will be greeted as well by Dr. Isabel Mercier. From the class of 2021, Gabrielle Whitaker. From the class of 2022, Hannah K. Davis. Congratulations to Hannah for being awarded one of the Lynette Company Awards. Sharon Lee Pantano, graduating summa cum laude with a minor in humanities. Congratulations to Sharon for being awarded one of the Lynette Company Awards. Sayama Serenbad. Alexander Blaze Tomolka. Please join me once more in congratulating the Bachelor of Science in Pharmaceutical Sciences graduates. The Bachelor of Science in Pharmacology and Toxicology and recipients of this degree will be greeted by Dr. Isabel Mercier. From the class of 2022, Gregory Thomas Davis. Graduating with a minor in pharmaceutical sciences. Jessica L. McKay. Graduating magna cum laude. Congratulations to Jessica for receiving the Pacman Family Award in Toxicology. Alina Tai. Katarina Truck, graduating with a minor in statistics. So join me once more in congratulating the Bachelor of Science in Pharmacology and Toxicology. Congratulations. We have two additional people I'd like to highlight and congratulate today as well. From the class of 2021 in pharmaceutical sciences, Alyssa Wiley, graduating with a minor in microbiology. Sir, come here, come here real quick. You know, there always has to be one who is just a little more special than all of us, right? Or at least me, I can't speak for everybody, but it, me. What is your name, sir? Oshwanayo. Oshwanayo. And what are you graduating with, sir? 2020 PhD in Palm Talk. Very good. Did you hear what he said? Something very impressive. He's a graduate from the year 2020 in pharmacology and toxicology? Yep, that's right. Very good. Tell me your name once more. Ashwin Ayer. 
Ashwin Iyer. Round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Congratulations. Thank you for that. Congratulations. Whew. We did it. But ladies and gentlemen, we have read the names of many amazing, truly amazing people that I have had the honor to say today. I just wanted to say thank you for the honor. It has been my absolute pleasure, but the fun does not stop yet. Just because I stepped down there, there's more fun to come. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for your time. Congratulations to each and every one of you. I wish you all the very best. I think she might have had the hardest job of all today. <sighs> Great job. Woo! Congratulations, graduates! We share with you the joy of this day and your sense of satisfaction and achievement in having distinguished yourselves by earning the degrees you have received today. In recognition of this achievement, you may now move your tassel from the right side to the left side. I now call on Provost Barron for the presentation of the Pharmacists and Health Professionals Oaths. Many of our graduates will devote their professional lives to the care of patients. In keeping with long-standing traditions within the healthcare professions, we invite those graduates to join in affirming their dedication to patient care. Dr. George Downs, the Linwood F. Tice Professor of Pharmacy and an exemplary faculty member for 50 years at U Sciences, will lead the Doctor of Pharmacy graduates in the pharmacist oath. Dr. Downs. Thank you. Thank you. If I can get uh, the pharmacy students, or graduates, excuse me, to stand. And on the back page of the program, I also invite any pharmacists in the audience to join us and stand. Okay. The pharmacist oath, if you'll raise your right hand and read along with me. I promise to devote myself to a lifetime of service to others through the profession of pharmacy. In fulfillment of this vow, I will consider the welfare of humanity and relief of suffering my primary concerns. I will promote inclusion, embrace diversity, and advocate for justice to advance health equity. I will apply my knowledge, experience, and skills to the best of my ability to assure optimal outcomes for all patients. I will respect and protect all personal and health information entrusted to me. I will accept the responsibility to improve my professional knowledge, ex expertise, and self-awareness. I will hold myself and my colleagues to the highest principles of our profession's moral, ethical, and legal conduct. I will embrace and advocate changes that improve patient care. I will utilize my knowledge, skills, and, ex and experiences and values to prepare the next generation of pharmacists. I take these vows voluntarily with the full realization of the responsibility to which I am entrusted by the public. You may sit down. Thank you, Dr. Downs. 
Dean Sinclair Smith will now lead the graduates in health sciences, medical laboratory science, occupational therapy, physical therapy, exercise science, and wellness management, and those in physician assistant studies programs in the health professionals oath. Dean Smith. Thank you, Dr. Barron. Will all the health profession graduates please stand, raise your right hand, and recite the oath of a health professional with me. At this time, I vow to devote my professional life to the service of all humankind through my chosen health profession. I will consider the welfare of humanity and the relief of human suffering my primary concerns. I will apply my knowledge, experience, and skills to the best of my ability to ensure optimal therapeutic outcomes for the individuals I serve. I will keep abreast of developments and, man and maintain professional competency. I will embrace and advocate for positive changes in health service delivery systems. I take these vows voluntarily with the full realization of the responsibility with which I am entrusted by the public. Congratulations, graduates. Thank you, Dr. Downs, Dean Smith. We were next looking forward to hear from our valedictorian, Mr. Matthew John Pyle, who graduated today with a Bachelor of Science degree in biology with a minor in pharmaceutical and healthcare business. But unfortunately, Matthew is not able to be here with us today. I now call upon Ms. Karen Saltzman Bliss, President-Elect of our Alumni Association, to welcome our graduates into our Alumni Association. Karen. Thank you. Good afternoon, family, friends, and graduates of the classes of 2020, 21, and 22. And a special hello to all my fellow alums who, as of today, are now sharing their University of the Sciences legacy with their children or wives or other family members. I am Karen Bliss, a 1989 graduate of the Philadelphia College of Pharmacy and Science. And I am here on behalf of the Alumni Association of the University of the Sciences to congratulate you on your graduation and to officially welcome you to the Alumni Association. Yesterday, you were U Sciences students, but today you have joined a 201-year legacy of alumni who have graduated from this university. Our rich history includes alumni who are innovators and visionaries in their fields. Alumni such as the founders of Eli Lilly and Company, who, for all the non-pharmacy folks out there, are the makers of medications such as Humulin Insulin and Prozac. And alumni such as Robert McNeil of McNeil Laboratories, who gave us Tylenol, a medication probably found in every one of our medicine cabinets. But it is not just those alumni from the early 1900s who are, you are joining. You are joining a network of younger alumni who are also making a difference in our world. I am sure when Dr. Mack, my young Amin, received his PharmD in 2009, he never imagined he would make national news for wearing a Superman outfit while he vaccinated over 75,000 people at his COVID-19 vaccination clinics. And Curtis Oakley, who received his microbiology and medical technology degrees in 2007 and 2008, could he have ever imagined he would be asked to serve on the White House Corona Task Force? And now you, the classes of 2020, 21, and 22, it is time for you to claim your title as alumni of the University of the Sciences and make a difference in our world. We've all seen the maroon signs on up here on the Schuylkill and on the SEPTA buses, signs advertising our university, signs that read proven everywhere and lab tested, real world proven. These signs are not just an advertising campaign. They are the truth. We, the alumni of the University of the Sciences, are proven everywhere and we are everywhere. Whether it's in a research lab, a pharmacy, a therapy office, or in a corporate office at the pharmaceutical industry, your fellow U Sciences alumni are everywhere. 
For a small-sized university, our alumni network is highly concentrated in the pharmacy and scientific fields. And that is why it is so important to stay connected through the Alumni Association. We share a common history, common interest, common experiences. We have many of the same professors, sat in many of the same classrooms. We have been your mentors and your preceptors while you were in college, and we will continue to be your mentors now that you have graduated. We are alumni who want to ensure the university continues to be recognized as a leader in the education of students in the science and healthcare fields because our degree, our diplomas, they are our resumes. When prospective employers see University of the Sciences on our resumes, they know the quality of the education we have received. Utilize this network of alumni who share your passion for your career alumni who are willing to help you, collaborate with you, and celebrate with you. And maybe in a few years, the next alumni graduation speaker will be mentioning you. Perhaps you will be our next Remington Professor of Pharmacy or have collaborated on a scientific breakthrough. Perhaps you will have played a significant role in this changing world of healthcare. Or perhaps you will make a difference in someone's life simply because of the quality education you have received here at the University of the Sciences. I know you are all anxious to celebrate this graduation with your family and friends, so I'm going to keep it short. But as a fellow alum, I want to give you the one piece of advice I have given all of my students that I have mentored, and that is to trust your instincts. You have just spent four to six years training for your degree. Your career is just beginning, and there is still more to learn along the way. You have been provided with a strong foundation. So remember, if something doesn't seem quite right, it probably isn't. And you cannot be afraid to stop and ask questions. To quote Carl Sagan, there are naive questions, tedious questions, ill-phrased questions, questions put after inadequate self-criticism, but every question is a cry to understand the world. There is no such thing as a dumb question. On behalf of the Alumni Association, I congratulate you on this achievement, and I am proud to call you my fellow alums. I hope to see all of you soon at future alumni events. Thank you, Ms. Bliss. A few months ago, I had the opportunity to address our community at the Youth Sciences Undergraduate Research Festival. I saw some of you there led by our esteemed colleague and this year's winner of the Hamler Award, Dr. Roberto Ramos. One of the assignments of the students that were, was to write a little bit about their experience, what they did, what they learned. And when I read those testimonials, some of the words that were used frequently by students were resilience and persistence. Students participating in research were sometimes frustrated by lack of progress, dead ends, but they had to soldier on and overcome the obstacles in their paths. I came back to those testimonials as I was preparing my remarks for today. And if I had to choose a word for the graduates that you see before you, indeed for many students over the past couple years, I would choose persistence. There's a quote from Bill Bradley, a pretty good basketball player and a former US Senator from New Jersey. Ambition is the path to success. Persistence is the vehicle you arrive in. In the spring of 2020, these students, these graduates, had to pivot from their traditional educational path with little warning. As much of the world ground to a halt as it wrestled with the pandemic, these students had to keep going. And not only did you keep your education going, you helped each other. You helped our community and you made a difference. I know you'll continue to do so in whatever path you choose and I look forward to seeing the impact you'll have. I'll end with one more quote from one of my favorite authors, Nora Ephron. Your education is a dress rehearsal for a life that is yours to lead. You've had a tough and hard fought rehearsal the past few years and I can't wait to see the next act. Congratulations graduates of the class of 22 and to the classes of 20 and 21. We wish you much happiness and success.
We'll now proceed with the recessional, and I'll ask you to remain seated until the platform party has departed the stage and the marshals have indicated that you may proceed. Have a great day.